Hey, look, man, tax evasion never hurt nobody. Except for Wesley Snipes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we didn't get a Blade 4. Okay. Sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> A type of crime that's really evil. In the back of my head, it's just like, don't say tax evasion again. Don't say tax (laughs) evasion again. (laughs) Double tax evasion. Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. Or if you're trade, money! money. <laughs> oh, God. Create shit. I don't know, what if you had 60 chickens? An inch and a half, that's about, that's yeah. about that. That's about there. You said it with confidence. Hey, kid, that limp was pretty good, but that wince was money. You <laughs> just had to throw in a goat, and in midair, he's just like, ah! Well, you gotta know what sound a bare metal one makes. <laughs> <laughs> You know what a hawk sounds like, right? Yeah, I do. It just—it sounded like you were trying to say a word. Jody in the soapbox is opening for retro, <laughs> retro garbage, garbage tonight. <laughs> we gotta get there, man. We gotta get tickets. The first thing we're gonna buy with our gumball money is an animated <laughs> butt. <laughs> what just chaps your nipples? Like, what is it? What is it, boy? <laughs> I don't know, son. It's just a joke. Gary Bankston. And today we've got our hands absolutely full. Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. Or if you're Trey, create shit. And today, we've got our hands absolutely full with a different episode. Yeah, a different style of episode. But you know what's not different? What's that? Fresman. That's right. (laughs) The same Fresman you know and love is back with us today. Welcome, good sir. Hello. Thank you for having me back. You're so welcome. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. I don't think we've had... (laughs) A a tripeat guest. That's a, a word I just came three up peat. with. Three three peat. We haven't had a three peter. A three peter. Yeah, three peter. <laughs> well, between you, me, and Fresman, we've got three. We got three peters. <laughs> oh, and, and Mark and Duplass makes four. Mark Duplass <laughs> makes four. <laughs> and it begins. Yep. <laughs> and demonetized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three peter. <laughs> God, thanks, Fresman. <laughs> so, so Trey, what are we doing today? So we are. <laughs> oh, I'm buddy. so excited. I know. So we mentioned on a pre- on our last episode. I think yeah, we did. We we mentioned this on our last episode, mm-hmm. or maybe we mentioned it pre-recording the last episode before. Like it may not have made the cut. We were going through uh, the gener- like like we were trying to figure out uh, like genres and figuring out plots, and we came across a plot generator, and we went, hey, you know who this would be. A hell of a lot of fun with Fresman, and we were like, we're gonna make it happen. So we are going through like Mad Libs, basically with Fresman. So we're just gonna go. I don't know. We never really discussed this. Do you want to go round robin? Like, you give a word or, or an adjective or whatever. I give it, and then Fresman gives it. Blah 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 blah. blah. Or did you want to do like you give five, I give like break it down that way? We actually never really decided this. We probably should have done that before the episode. I was going to say it could be a collective uh, effort. Yeah. We could all just decide on one. Or whoever spits it out. Okay. It might take a little bit longer. Yeah. But I think it would be more organic. Uh, Yeah. Okay. We can do it that way. Help each other out. So that is is how we're going to do this. We're just going to, whoever spits it out first uh, wins. (laughs) I like it. And if we all three say something, clearly the one who gets the biggest laugh. I think we'll all come in agreement with, you know. (laughs) So, really quick, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that you can find Fresman on Twitter, at Fresman. That's F-R-E-Z-Z-M-A-N. And all this is going to be down in the link below. Uh, or in the show notes, if you're listening via Spotify, Apple, whatever. Um, or you can find Fresman on YouTube, at Fresman. And uh, if, you, if for some reason that doesn't pull up, just look up Demasked. You'll find him. Demasked. <laughs> With Fresman. 
That's Fresman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Starring if, me, Fresman, at Fresman. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, if you want to find him out in the wild, you can find him behind your local nuclear pan- plant burying bodies. Yep. He's the one that's hunched <laughs> over half naked with the really hairy back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the one stealing the uranium rods out of the core. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not even, you don't even have tongs. You're bare fist in it. I, I don't even need them. I just want them. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just want so them. pretty. All right. <laughs> okay. So this, pl- uh, so we're going to be filling this in. And it's this is for a plot, uh, a fantasy plot, a fantasy plot. Yep. Yes. And at the very end, you just hit generate story, and we'll see what it gives us, and I'm, we will read it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so since I said it'll be a collective group, but I would like for Fresman to maybe take the first, the one. first one. Yeah, absolutely. Let's oh. do it. Okay. We are naming oh, uh, <laughs> who our protagonist is going to be. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna go for the the milk toast answer. Let's call this main character Fresman. Let's just okay. see what happens to me. This is Fresman's <laughs> story. Okay. All right. Either origin or ending, <laughs> depending <laughs> on how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and then it's just asking me for a second character. A second character. Any second character in the world. Any second character. <sighs> I mean, do we go straight for the obvious answer? Feel, go for the throat? I feel like we have to. It's got to be Mark Duplass, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, like, well it, I'm it sitting just... here, I'm like, well, well, I'm sitting here, I'm like, do I say it? I don't know if I'm going to be the one to say it. Do I say it? <laughs> <laughs> We're all going, do we say it? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to be it's, Mark Duplass? It's going to be Mark Duplass. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now we've got 13 adjectives. Good Lord. Friendly, oh, scary, ugly. Lord. It is a fantasy novel. <laughs> it's telling me. Let's see. Cursed? Cursed? That's a good one. Okay. We've got cursed. <laughs> dry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got dry. Well, I mean, what, what's what's the alternative? <laughs> moist? Enlarged. <laughs> okay. Moist. moist Turn. Enla- Enlarged. <laughs> uh, barren. Oh, dude, no, no joke, Baron. I thought of Baron. Yeah? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> sour. Who? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? What, Turgid? Tur- turgid? Turgid. Oh, Turgid. <laughs> So, I I've I know the word, dude. I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't. I've heard turgid, <laughs> but what is? Give yeah. us a definition. It's uh. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Brisbane, what does turgid mean? <laughs> all the all the English majors in the audience are like. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. It, Hang on, I'll let... Strong, tall, standing, you know. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) I was about to suggest flaccid. (laughs) So... (laughs) So, we've got... (laughs) Turgid's better. And flaccid. (laughs) Turgid, flaccid. How many is that? What are we up to? Uh, We have one, two, three, four... uh, We've got six left. The story's going to be a roller coaster. It really is. Yeah, because we've got Turgid and Flaccid. It really is. (laughs) One right after the other. Yep. (laughs) Uh, Aren't you glad you had me on? (laughs) Oh, absolutely. That's a buzzword. I never would have, like, I never would have known that word had you not. I mean, maybe I would have come across it somewhere, but this is the best way to come across it. <laughs> Tell us again how, how how good is it to come across it? Uh, it's great to, to just come, come across, across it. Turgid. <laughs> yeah, turgid just word. The turgid word. Just, yeah. Just, Better than so coming great across to hear a flaccid. from a masked man late in the evening. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know. Uh 
Incomplete. (laughs) (laughs) Unfinished. (laughs) Unfinished. Um, Withering. What? Withering. Withering. Or withered. (laughs) Withered. I like withered. Okay. Tired. Tired. (laughs) Weary. There we go. Weary. Yeah, you got you want you want weary instead of tired? Sure. (laughs) Colossal. (laughs) Okay. Harry. Harry. Finish this off, Jack. (laughs) <laughs> is that all of them? Uh, that's it for the adjectives. Okay. Okay. A oh, type no. of dwelling. Whole uh, cave, house. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is fantasy. Tavern. Tavern. Yeah, that's Tavern. pretty good. Some people live there, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, what does that dwelling provide? Um, nourishment. Oh, camaraderie. <laughs> I was going to say it, the examples are comfort, happiness. Warmth. Oh, I was going to say nourishment. You got to nourish our bodies with with <laughs> they, they, taverns have food. Yeah, beer nut. Beer nuts is enough to survive on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Some people do it. Okay, we need two types of creatures, uh, but like singular, like <clears throat> a zombie or a monster. Ooh, types of creatures. Like a manticore. A skeleton. Ooh, a skeleton. Maybe we should make up one <laughs> to go along with a skeleton. Oh, oh god. Um, a a cur flap. A cur flap. It's just a giant talking belly button. Oh, that's kind of gr- that's really gross. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh. I'm a cur flap. What's up? Hey. Well, like, you said a giant talking belly button. I just imagine, like, it's a language you can't understand, so it just kind of floats up to you, just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it spits oh. something, like, it's there's some kind of liquid that comes out oh. when it talks. Oh, no. It, it fires lint. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Um, okay, we need three types of creature, uh, creatures, plural. Gnomes, which is like, a, like a horde. Yeah. Ooh. Um. Well, I mean, yeah, gnomes for sure. I agree on that one. Yeah. Goblins. We got gnomes. Gnomes are small. Um. What was that one? What's the one from? Oh what God! I'm thinking of one from... Blair elves. <laughs> Specifically, Keebler elves. Keebler elves. Okay, that can be one. <laughs> they come at night. The smell of cookies on the wind. <laughs> <laughs> smell of cookies and belly button lint. It smells delicious. Oh. We're in trouble. <laughs> you, you know, you know, if if the Keebler elves hung out with the Ents from Lord of the Rings, I think they've got a hell of an army to amass. Oh yes, because they live in trees. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what, but they like they like carve out like. Well, would I mean, dance you, be you cool pick with that? a non. I mean, you pick like a non, you know, vital section of the tree and just make just, like a pocket. Yeah, just start cutting into. That's so weird to think about, like as a, as a as a functioning like, if something just carved its way into like us, you know, like put yourself in the tree shoes. It's kind of a trees weird don't thought. have shoes. Well, put yourself in the trees' roots. <laughs> At J.R.R. Tolkien, do do yeah. ants have shoes? Do that. Please answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is our ants. third? So we've got what? Keebler elves and ants? Uh, no. Well, we've got gnomes, Keebler elves, and what? What was the the ants? The walking trees from Lord of the Rings. Okay. I did not remember that that's what they were called. Yep. Okay. Uh, one object. Singular. One object. Just an object. 
a scepter. Yeah. Maybe. I'm thinking more like <laughs> mini fridge. Mini fridge. Wait, mini fridge. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that better than scepter. <laughs> okay. Qu- quickly to the mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> we need to escape. Is, is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> uh, two nouns that are plural. Ooh. Like boys, girl, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Ooh, maps, pins, stones. I was gonna say mountains. Cats. <laughs> cats. Cats is a plural. Yeah. Cats. Okay. Do we want to go with mountains or like laundry baskets? Laundry baskets. Laundry baskets. Laundry baskets. <laughs> <laughs> now the question is, are you just looking around the room? No. <laughs> picking stuff up. <laughs> and the Trey just looked behind him and realized how I came up with this. There is a <laughs> tiny mini fridge right next to a laundry basket. <laughs> It's right okay. on the other it's side. It's tucked behind the laundry basket. I can't oh, see it. Fuck. <laughs> I wish well, I could well, claim I'm that I was that creative. Well, I'm sitting there. I'm just like, those are two very oddly <laughs> specific oddly items. Spe- <laughs> they could potentially be in a room that two people yeah. would be doing a podcast in. Right. <clears throat> the mini fridge is a new addition, and it is it is really mini. Yeah, it, it's pretty tiny. Yeah. It's going to go right here once I move my shit out of the way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> mini fridge, cats, laundry, baskets. Whoops, already had it. Okay, um, a skill, Ooh. resourcefulness, intelligence, taxidermy. Oh, yeah, like that's what I taxidermy is great. I was thinking <laughs> basket weaving. <laughs> <laughs> Tiddly winks. <laughs> <laughs> um, a job. Uh. A falconer. Accountant. Earlier. Accountant. <laughs> An accountant that does taxidermy in their free time. Okay. Oh, that would be the that would be the creepiest thing. Do, do we go? Okay. Accountant. I don't know, what do you think? An accountant that does taxidermy or a falconer that does taxidermy? An accountant that does it yeah. way creepier. <laughs> yep. Long day filing other people's taxes, and then you. Go home and stuff. Oh, whatever, thank God. Whatever you Solitude. Want. And you're just... <laughs> yeah. You're shining the little button eyes on a wombat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honey, okay. I'm home. And it's just like a squirrel on a stand. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's old Bernice. Uh, a battle. Oh. A battle? Like... I guess of wits. We well, we could make up one, or it's got like Waterloo, you know, et cetera. I don't know, like the Battle, Battle of, of the Punch bulge. Drunk Ridge, Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Battle of the Bulge. It's perfect. Okay, <laughs> and finally, two verbs. Two verbs. <laughs> Except the uh, examples are dine, sitting, walking. Wafting. Mm. Wafting. Yeah. Like you waft a towel. <laughs> and uh, oh, what about v- vomiting? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those two go great together. Yeah. Okay. Wafting, vomiting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. We ready to generate? I have write me a fantasy plot and. <sighs> Boom. Hold on. Before you read that, do or do we want to make some predictions on what this is going to follow? Like, is it going to be like a classic tale? Like, of a hero? No. <laughs> With that reaction, I'm guessing not. No, I not. just look down and I see this. It's like a, a cover yeah. of a book. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's very cheaply cheap looking. What, is, but, what does it say? <laughs> okay. So, gentlemen, the name of our story is Fresman the Skeleton. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, Can okay. you screenshot Not that? Not the career path I would have chosen, me? but all right. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a long it, it's a long road, but somebody had to do it. <laughs> it's a dirty um, job, but somebody's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so oh my excited God. for this. It's not great work, but it's honest work. Fresma, the Skeleton, a fantasy novel by... 
And then there's no name. <laughs> That's fine. The CS by, podcast. By, by Mark Duplass. <laughs> by Mark Duplass. Okay. Are we are we ready, gentlemen? Let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> this is Audible. <laughs> Fresman, the skeleton. <laughs> a fantasy novel by... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> In a tavern, there lived a withered, colossal skeleton named Fresman. Not a cursed, dry, moist tavern filled with cats and a barren smell, nor yet a turgid, flaccid, incomplete tavern with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a skeleton tavern, <laughs> and that means nourishment. <laughs> what? I don't know. This is this is like it was. It's one of those like you ever see the the memes where like I forced this robot or I forced this AI to watch a hundred thousand hours of CSI Miami <laughs> and then made him write a script based on it. Like you seen those memes? Uh, That's no, what we just made. <laughs> okay, was that <clears throat> Batman one? Yeah, <laughs> he was a lawyer. <laughs> He knew he was the justice. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a very short novel, but here we ah. go. One day, after a troubling visit from the curflap, Mark Duplass, <laughs> <laughs> Fresman leaves his tavern and sets out in search of three <laughs> enlarged laundry baskets. <laughs> A quest undertaken in the company of gnomes, Keebler elves, and hairy ents (laughs) In search for the curflap guarded laundry baskets Fresman surprises even himself with his taxidermy and skill as an accountant. (laughs) (laughs) He just just shows up, starts doing the curflaps taxes. (laughs) (laughs) They've been been facing tax evasion for 25 years because they don't know how to do it because they don't have arms. (laughs) Right? I've I've come to audit you. (laughs) (sighs) <laughs> During his travels, Fresman rescues a mini fridge, <laughs> an heirloom belonging to Mark. <laughs> you just dredge it up from the lake. <laughs> they just walk into his house and steal it. Yeah. Uh, What's I love up, that, bitch? I found this for you. I love that Mark Duplass has a has a mini fridge that's an heirloom. Yeah. Um, Best I love that he's a curflap. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going <laughs> This next line. All right, I'm going to read all this together. Okay. <laughs> During his travels, Fresman rescues a mini fridge, an heirloom belonging to Mark. But when Mark refuses to try vomiting, their friendship is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you, Mark. You wouldn't throw up for me on command. You you won't binge and purge for me. <laughs> <laughs> You show me your dick, lint, but you will throw up. Oh, this I, is I need, funny. I need the lint, Mark. I need it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <laughs> However, Mark is wounded at the Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> <laughs> and the two reconcile just before Fresman engages in some serious vomiting. <laughs> You're my brother, Mark. (laughs) Fresman accepts one of the three enlarged laundry baskets and returns home to his tavern, a very wealthy skeleton. The end. Nice. Very well done. That was a great... (laughs) That was good. This says, for privacy reasons, your creation will be removed from the web at 3.14 a.m. GMT and later deleted from our server, unless you choose to publish it. Well, Somebody call it'll be editor, published. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll just take two screenshots, and it captures the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fresman the Skeleton, a fantasy novel. So, so, so what you're telling me is I now have a movie script to pitch to Mark Duplass. Hey, hey Mark. 
Let me let me toss you a thetical real quick. <laughs> maybe I'll be maybe a skeleton. we could do a... <laughs> You get to be a giant belly button. Stay with me here. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stick with me. It gets better. I'm a skeleton. <laughs> I'm gonna file your taxes, and I'm gonna need you to vomit for me, but not. You're gonna refuse, but then I'll do it later. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. I'll throw up on you. So be spoilers, great. Spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> so we have reviews on this. Oh my! Like book review? Like like yeah? Like they made book reviews? Right. Oh yeah! Oh, let's hit some reviews. Okay, here we go. Auto praise for Fresman the skeleton. <clears throat> A search for three enlarged laundry baskets was always going to be compelling. The addition of gnomes, Keebler elves, and ants just makes it even more awesome. The Daily Tale. Thank you, Daily Tale. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to sponsor us. Oh my gosh. This next one. <laughs> it says, OMG, it's like Lord of the Rings with added Keebler elves. That's now, by one of the kids. Kids with a Z. I, so, I wonder if it picked up, if, 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 if it knew enough when it created if that it to us. know that Ents was, right. like Ents are from Lord of the Rings. That's it. That's interesting. I wonder if that's like a default, like they just threw uh, that in there, or if that was if it triggered like some kind of algorithm. <laughs> well, the next review is by Enid Kibler. Okay, <clears throat> that's weird. Yeah, awfully close to Kibler. Yeah. Um, about as enjoyable as eating my own toes. I wish Mark had kept refusing to do any vomiting. The whole thing <laughs> would have been a lot shorter. Well, he did keep refusing. He never vomited. If you read the fucking book <laughs> Fresman vomited that's true yeah you gotta wow keep reading. yeah wow it's, it's, screw your it's review like, Kibler it, it's like trying to get your friend to watch a subpar TV show he's like you just gotta get past the first couple episodes you just gotta keep going it gets better I, I promise <laughs> yeah I swear it gets better Mark didn't vomit but just, just stay tuned stay hang it. on because somebody does if you're, if you're looking for that just keep keep on keep on keeping on You'll, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> oh, man. This next review is by Hit the Spoof. <laughs> uh, I love Mark. I would have liked to see more of him. Liked to have me seen too. more of him. Yeah. <laughs> he really was the <laughs> shining star. said me too. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this next review is by Zob Gloop. <laughs> okay. Their review All is, right. I prefer the real Tolkien. That is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> it had to have triggered. It had to that's, have triggered an algorithm that well, knew. it is fantasy. Yeah. So maybe that's already that's built That's impressive. It. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah. But, I mean, you think of all the, like, thousands of fantasy novels out there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, do you, do you think I can sell the script to HBO as, like, season nine of Game of, Game of Thrones? <laughs> Look, guys, hear me out. You know what, you know what Game of Thrones miss? Mark Duplass. That's it. That's your laundry selling point. Baskets. Laundry baskets. Laundry basket. Enlarged laundry <laughs> baskets. Enlarged <laughs> laundry baskets. That's what the, the dragons carry all their laundry in. Okay, so we can generate a short story, a movie script, fairy tale, story ideas. Oh, let's well, see. Based on everything that we just put in, or we uh, have to redo it? I feel like we would have to redo okay, it. Okay, that's fine. I'm down for doing it. Uh, romance, real quick. paranormal romance, <sighs> crime, horror. Domestic noir, ooh, mystery, science fiction, vampire, dystopian, uh, summertime, and smelly trolls. Okay, well, since what? Fresman is our guest, I will. Let's. I, I think. I think he should be the one to choose the next genre. So next. I'm. 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 I'm torn between movie script and science fiction. Okay, I've got a. I think I have a coin here. We could flip. I do. I say I do somewhere as well, but as I mentioned prior to the start of this here episode, it's really hard to see through nylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Heads heads is science fiction. Tails is movie script. All right. All right. Heads. It's science fiction. Nice. <laughs> I don't know if right. I can see that. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Our he our hero, <clears throat> ooh our hero. All right, let's swap it up. Um, <laughs> Turbo Man <laughs> from Jingle All the Way. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> Trey and I both might have received Turbo a Turbo Man as a gift as gift for Christmas, and it might be sitting in this room on camera. 
that <laughs> I'm s- I can't believe that was somewhere in my Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah. This is stuff that you pull out. Yeah. yeah if you watch this, Fresman, you'll see the Turbo Man that I'm pointing at. Yeah. This, this particular one's mine. Yep. Mine's in Just our Just to office. be clear. And, and if you watch my video, you'll see a certain inspector. <laughs> yep. Ah. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. Helpless character who needs rescuing. Hmm. So our main character is Turbo Man, right? Yep. Sinbad. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We're we're just writing Jingle all the way too right now. <laughs> we had the sequel. <laughs> well, they made a sequel, didn't they? I never watched it, but I, I think they did. I didn't either. It's like oh. Home Alone 3. We just don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> or 4. Or the new one that I think they did. Home Sweet, Home Alone. Is that what it is? Yeah. Buzz, Buzz is in it, but apparently cop, that actor... He? Yeah, but apparently got the actor got in some trouble recently. <laughs> yeah, I read something about that. Too. I don't remember what he did, but yeah. I remember King reading that, King. and I was like, oh, okay, well. Film series? What? The second one has Larry the Cable Guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That was probably a direct dvd It's on Disney+. Plus. Well, I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> oh, have fun. I'm not. Oh, man. <laughs> you let me know how it is. <laughs> I just feel like that. Yeah. Oh, man. Wasn't he in the Tooth Fairy 2 also? Probably. That sounds right. Larry loves his sloppy seconds. <laughs> oh, it, it it goes down smooth with a Prilosec. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, what else do we need? A bad emperor. A bad emperor? Mm-hmm. Well, that's 30 minutes mm-hmm. right there. Larry the Cable Guy. Okay. <laughs> Just everybody under the yeah. bus. <laughs> <laughs> Six adjectives. Lord, forgive me for what I'm about to do to these people. New, new Guinea's down in New Pygmy. Wait, pig, yeah. Pygmy's down in New Guinea. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Three, uh, six what? Adjectives. Adjectives. Um, mm. Smelly. Smelly. <laughs> Mundane. Mundane. <laughs> Crisp. Can you put Turbo on there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tur- turbo, Turbo Man. <laughs> Turbo Man in his turbo car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Majestic. There you go. Yeah. Persnickety. Persnickety. <laughs> All right. Two planets. Pluto. But Pluto's not a planet. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I feel like the next one has to. Oh, yeah. Uranus. Uranus. It's Uranus. You are anus? (laughs) I am Weasel. (laughs) (laughs) Two types of creatures. Plural. Mm. Okay, kind of like what we did, like gnomes. Mm -hmm. I had one earlier to replace gnomes Mm -hmm. with. God, what was it? Uh, Like goblins? No, no, no. It was something I thought of after the fact. Hmm. Oh, I can't think of what it was. There's one I'm thinking of. Gumball machines. Those are creatures? They can't. If a belly button can be a creature. What, what, What have I been putting quarters into? A mimic. Oh, oh God. (laughs) Oh. It's like the Dark Souls chest just stands up and... (laughs) It's it's, it's all all legs. Mm. It's like eight feet tall and seven of those are legs. Weird. It's weird, yeah. Uh. (laughs) What? Do we need another creature? Yes. Yes. Just slime. Ooh, yeah. Slimes. Slimes? Yeah. Sentient slimes. <laughs> oh, okay. 
uh, two creatures, uh, like, singular. Mm. You, you know, this entire time I've been having to push back just straight up saying Mark Duplass for every <laughs> entry. <Yeah. laughs> I was going to say a flying purple people eater. Giant spaghetti That's monster. A the flying spaghetti monster. There we go. Did you say giant or flying? Flying. Okay. <laughs> flying. Spaghetti monster. Carl. Carl? Whatever, Carl. whatever a Carl is. That's it's just that's Carl. the creature. Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I'm Carl Weezer. <laughs> Jimmy's Hi. mom. Hi, Jimmy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta finish that croissant. <laughs> croissant. That's just charging at you. Croissant. <laughs> no, please. Uh, one building. And, one building. And I feel like if we wanted to get Mr. Duplass in here, it could be Mark Duplass's duplex. Uh, <laughs> duplex. Mark Duplass's duplex. <laughs> the du- the Duplass duplex. <laughs> Duplass duplex. <laughs> or do we? Do, we'll just call it the Duplass duplex. The Duplassidex. Duplass <laughs> Duplass Duplass. I imagine it looks like a normal like building from the outside, but then you walk in and it's nothing but Mark Duplass is walking around. Just it's a bunch of them. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mark? Hi, Mark. How you doing, Mark? I'm great, Mark. It's like that vault from Fallout 3. Gary. Yeah, Gary. 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 Mark. 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 <laughs> A type of crime that's quite evil. <sighs> Jaywalking. Tax evasion. <laughs> tax, tax evasion. evasion. <laughs> hey, look, man. Tax evasion never hurt nobody. Except for Wesley Snipes. <laughs> 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 that's why we didn't get a Blade for. Okay. Sure. Sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A type of crime that's really evil. Really evil. Yeah. <laughs> Examples for this is murder, violence, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> In the or. back of my head, it's just like, don't say tax evasion again. Don't say tax evasion <laughs> again. <laughs> Double tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a stint for tax evasion and also tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> He really got us a second time, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, we should have seen it coming. <laughs> you know, what about wants... jaywalking? That... <laughs> the really evil one is jaywalking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll delete double tax evasion and put jaywalking. <laughs> 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 I had it in. S- <laughs> sick, like, bastard didn't it. Even use... <laughs> sick bastard didn't even use the crosswalk. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he burns. <laughs> Uh, His feet were made for murder. (laughs) Just look at him. These boots were not made for walking. (laughs) These boots were made for Jay walking. That's just what they'll do. (laughs) One of these days, these boots will cross the street illegally without the light (laughs) being in its favor. (laughs) It just fizzles out. It's like an anti-joke. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, A town. A town? Uh Nowhere. The town of nowhere. And you know, this bad. Yeah, I was going to say, I too <laughs> love Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yep. Stupid dog, you made me look bad. Look, look, look. <laughs> um, the things I do for love. You know, Manion's got a tattoo of him right here on his forearm. Does he really? Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to get uh, a tattoo of Courage wearing that eggplant costume where he's dancing. Oh God! Yeah, where he's just like he's, but it's so like solemn. He looks so sad. Yeah, I feel like Courage often looks sad. Yeah, yeah. I want to get a tattoo of Fred. Oh, the, the that... uh... and I've been naughty. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going to shave your tail. That would be weird. He's yeah. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> like as a kid, as a kid, the ta- that was the slab return that like that scared me as a kid. But like as an adult, you realize Fred like that. That's naughty. Like that's just nah. That's weird. My name is Fred. 
But I've got no I've got idea. a town for us. Okay. Foreskinsville. <laughs> Everybody wears turtlenecks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You walk in with a V-neck, and they're just like, is there, you uncircumcised swine? (laughs) Is there a part of the town called the hood? (laughs) (laughs) Why'd you come from there? (laughs) No, I'm circumcised. I come from the hood. (laughs) No, my family is, it's not part of our religion, no, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, A weapon. Well. Hmm. <laughs> just, I'm thinking just a straight up knife. Just, just a knife. Nothing just, special. Just <laughs> doesn't do anything. Just a knife. Okay. Not even a switchblade. Just, just a knife. Knife. He brought down an entire planet with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> he plunged knife. it into Pluto's surface, <laughs> eradicating Foreskinsville. Oh. Forskins, Forskinsville was excised off the map. <laughs> Killing off all the Forskinians. <laughs> the Forskinnies. Yeah. What, what, what lays now is a barren, scarred land. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, a vehicle. Uh, like a Buick LeSabre. <laughs> I was going to say Volkswagen Golf. <laughs> we'll do the, the Buick we'll call, Golf. I was going to say, we'll call it the Volkswagen Buick. The Volkswagen Buick. The Volkswagen LeSabre. <laughs> Specifically the back end of both. You never know if you're going forward or not. <laughs> just took them, cut them in half, and just spliced them. Okay, so we have the Volkswagen Buick LeSabre. Okay, there we go. That's yes. a mouthful. An object. Oh, this is the last one, too. An object. Oh, this has got to be something, right? Yeah, it's mm. got to be something. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the examples are newspaper, torch, and sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, hold I'm on. trying to think of something, like, epic. <laughs> well, I mean, what? if we're going epic, there's like the Infinity Gauntlet, Maltese Falcon. Ooh, mm. that's a good one. <clears throat> the Excuse Maltese me. Falcon. Humphrey Bogart's going to show up and start complaining at you. <laughs> <laughs> complaining at you. Hmm. Did you have an eye? Did you have something? I don't know. You seemed like you like like a light bulb clicked on. It, it sort of did. One yeah. thing I thought of was Fresman's YouTube channel. Ooh. <gasps> or the Rolodex. Fresman's Rolodex. Fresman's Rolodex. Boom. <laughs> that is it. That's. Yep. That's got to be it. That's the epic it, that we're looking for. It, it, Ow. It's not the sum total of human knowledge. It's the sum total of obscure knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have punched it. Write me a sci-fi plot. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay, gentlemen. We're about to read Galactic Smelly Knife Wars. <laughs> <laughs> a science fiction plot by... <laughs> Audible. All right. Audible presents... Or this is Audible. Galactic Smelly Knife Wars, a science fiction plot by... <laughs> A long, long time ago, in a smelly, smelly galaxy. (laughs) After leaving the mundane planet Pluto, a a group of gumball machines fly toward a distant speck. The speck gradually resolves into a crisp space, the Duplossplex. (laughs) Civil War strikes the galaxy, which is ruled by Larry the Cable Guy. (laughs) A turbo-flying spaghetti monster capable of tax evasion and even jaywalking. (laughs) (laughs) Terrified, a majestic Carl, known as Sinbad, flees the Empire with his protector, Turbo Man. (laughs) They head for Foreskinsville on the planet Uranus. (laughs) 
<laughs> that would... <laughs> when they finally arrive, a fight breaks out. Man uses his smelly knife to defend Sinbad. Oh, I guess that was supposed to be Turbo Man. Oh, okay. I don't I just know why they yeah, cut that off. it up. Okay, so Turbo Man uses his smelly knife to defend Sinbad. <laughs> Turbo Man and Carl... I don't want your doo-doo knife, Turbo Man. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo Man and Carl Sinbad? He's a, he's a creature. It would make more sense if it was like... Carl Sinbad. Yeah, well, it would make more sense if it was like... Dragon Sinbad. Like, yeah. Carl is the creature. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Turbo Man and Carl Sinbad decide it's time to leave Uranus and steal a, Vol- and steal a Volkswagen Buick LeSabre to shoot their way out. We must escape Uranus. <laughs> yeah. Um, they encounter a tribe of slimes. Ooh. Turbo Man is attacked, and the Carl is captured uh, by the slimes and taken back to Forskinsville. <laughs> Man- Turbo Man must fight to save Carl Sinbad, but when he accidentally unearths a persnickety Fresman's Rolodex, the entire oh future of the smelly, mundane galaxy is at stake. And that was it. It's like a Jedi holocron. <laughs> All of this knowledge, none of it applicable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do I do with this? Why does one man possess such curiosities? Why do I need to know that the optimum depth for a bird bath is three inches? <laughs> <laughs> we should have just like how do I defeat him? I don't know. <laughs> we should have just had Fresman freestyle a science fiction novel for twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, auto what praise yeah. for galactic smelly knife wars. I really, really hope that Turbo Man saves Carl Sinbad because I love this story so much. The Daily Tale. No, you don't. A turbo flying spaghetti monster, a tribe of slimes, and a majestic Carl. Haven't we seen this before somewhere? Enid Kibler. Uh, Kibler needs to... Kibler can chill out. He was pooping on the last book. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> oh, hey, we got two reviews? Yeah. Just wow, two. it didn't even garner enough well. reviews. You see how it is. <laughs> Man, I guess science fiction is just not their thing. I guess not. Well, <laughs> probably shouldn't write anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was it. He had a one-hit wonder. It up. He had a one-hit wonder with Fresman the Skeleton, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Time right. to call it quits. <laughs> what time is it? Or how long do we have? Uh, well, I had to restart. It's 10.30. Well, but, I mean, uh, how far into? Uh, about 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ish. Well... Well, there we go. Yeah. That was Mad Libs. Yeah. So, yeah. once again, you can find Fresman at Fresman on Twitter, at Fresman on YouTube. Look up Demasked at Fresman. At Fresman, do you have anything else you'd like to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. Well, Fres, give us uh, some final thoughts, some final Rolodex wisdom. Well... Oh god, it's it's spinning is what it is. We need a but, sound effect for it. You <laughs> 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 broken. Yeah. Did you know that the Wu Tang clan, the band, once had their own console and controller and their own game? <laughs> what? No, that actually that's a fun fact. I didn't know that. Yeah, that that controller is shaped like their logo, and it is terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. How many consoles did that? Just like the one? Was it like a one and done kind of thing, or did they go to production and create like a thousand of them? I, I believe the it was very short production. I think yeah. it's easier to find controllers than it is the console right now. I'm gonna have to look that up. I want to see it. I want to see the console. I can imagine the controller, but yeah. I'd like to see the console. <laughs> If I remember the game that they made for it was a fighting game that featured members of the Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah. So it was like, what, Def Jam fight for Wu-Tang? Yeah, <laughs> but without like the 3D maneuverability, more of like a... Yeah. Like, mm, like a, a virtual fighter almost. Oh. Uh, yeah. Fascinating. But, 
well, you said something out of the Rolodex. I'm like, all right, I'm going to reach into the dark corner over there. And... <laughs> he had to dust the cobwebs off yet, and he hadn't reached in there in a while. Like, just that particular corner. He was like, huh. <coughs> Wu-Tang. Yeah, this is it. This is it. He this loaded it up and sent it up to his brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the note card. All right. Send it up. I like to imagine a little Fresman in his brain. Or electric desk elves in Fresman's brain. That's, yeah. a, that's a new yeah. video. And they're all, they all, but, they have the mask. But, but but it's one guy stuck in one room. <laughs> Just chain smoking uh, like a fiend. I was about to say he sm- I was about to say I see him smoking. <laughs> to well, deal with all the stress. You want well, me to look up what? Why are you filing this in here? Who mentioned he- Max Headroom? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Max headroom and it's like it's like he's got a file a filing cabinet and he just goes <sighs> pulls rolls up his sleeves and grabs it and just yanks the shit out of it and it just <sighs> and <laughs> it just it's like it's like a nine and a half like football field long <laughs> cabinet just yeah. one drawer it's, it's like that scene from Bruce Almighty <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yep I feel like I've seen a Rocco's Modern Life episode where Rocco probably opened a cabinet and it was that long yeah <laughs> yeah yeah my, my brain's a lot like the that office that bruce goes to where it's just a giant empty room with the <laughs> one file <laughs> cabinet i that this is organized yeah that's pretty good yeah if you call, if you call that organized sure 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 <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, well. cool 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, flattered you think I have any kind of organizational <laughs> tactic. <laughs> so Fresman, what have you got what have you got coming up on your channel here recently? What what are what can the viewers what are they what are they looking forward to? What are they gonna find? <laughs> what do you do? What do you want? <laughs> what, are you, what are you selling me? Yeah. No solicitor. <laughs> elevator pitch, go. Yeah. No, yeah uh, elevator pitch. So D Mast is back on the air. Um had to take a, a little bit of a break. Just Due to some IRL stuff, but um, looks like we're back on the air. This last Monday, we had a fellow by the name of Dexter on there. Nice. And this coming week, we will have uh, September Dragon Audio on oh, okay. this Monday oh. this Monday at noon Pacific Standard Time. Well, you Ooh. heard it here, folks. Monday at noon. That's what, February? Or is it, is it February already? January? What's the 27th? Yeah, it's the 27th. It's, it's this coming Monday. So today's Friday. No, wait, no. You're going to be listening. This past Monday, <laughs> this episode's going to air 31st. next week. So on the 31st. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm having to do math here and figure out when this episode's going to air. Well, I have, my, I have my calendar thing right here. So I'm just like, <laughs> lean over and <laughs> check. <laughs> but no, saying. um... But then on top of that, I'd like to, like to, there's no promise here, you know, quote, promised by Frisman. Yeah, <laughs> promised. 2022. But uh, I'd like to start getting back into gameplay stuff, maybe a little bit of streaming here and there. Oh, yes. But, uh, nice. We'll, 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 see, uh, we'll see where that goes, you know? Well, we'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no promises. We'll hold you to it. <laughs> At Fresman, where are the streams? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when's when's Halo? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But hey, thank thank the both of you for having me on. This has been fantastic. Oh, dude, absolutely. Anytime. There's no way we could have like done this without you. Yeah. It just it would not have been the same. No, I was so excited. <laughs> I had once we get off the air, I'll talk more about it. But I had hmm. I had quite the start to my day. And, oh yeah, uh, it was a little daunting. But when I woke up, I knew that once I got like got through that, yeah, I'm like, hey, it's all the day is gonna end good because we're doing a fantasy Mad Lib plot with Fresman. Yep, that ha- that that got me through the disparaging thoughts. Yeah, so yeah, I, I appreciate you joining us yet again. For for a very real second, I thought you go. I I woke up this morning and I thought, you know. I'm going to record something with Fresman later, and my day was ruined. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was daunting. It's been an uphill battle ever since. Yeah. It's like pedaling a bicycle with one wheel yeah. up a mountain. A mountain of just 
despair <laughs> of <laughs> garbage. With, <laughs> with a cart attached to the back. And yeah. <laughs> every tire's flat. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even flat. They're square. <laughs> square wheels. <laughs> On rims. <laughs> Uh, click, 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 click. <laughs> Why did I do this? I've got one lazy donkey that was supposed to be helping pull me. <laughs> he's sitting in the back. He, he's sitting he's in, the in the cart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all you hear as you're climbing the mountain, you just hear, like, in a weird echo, he just like, <laughs> you can't go out with the cart. Huh? <laughs> the controller was safe like they're <laughs> Mark Duplass, 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 Duplass. <laughs> Y'all he- remember Max Hedrum? 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ground's just like scattered note cards from a Rolodex. <laughs> There's a volcano in the background just spitting them out. <laughs> it erupts <laughs> note cards. <laughs> you get through reading the note st- card and they turn into bats and they start gnawing on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm standing atop the mountain just like, what's the problem? <laughs> I've set you up for success. I gave you all the resources to make this trip. You were the chosen one. Like, choose somebody else. (laughs) Kilroy is here! (laughs) What was the other one? Mr. Chad? Yeah, Mr. Chad. That's the Canadian version. What? what? No Rolodex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to be in the pre-chat. Okay. <laughs> you had to be in the pre-lobby. I missed it. it. It's now getting so weird that it's references you can't possibly understand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. We don't even know. Oh, okay. Just- St- standing at the foot of this mountain, just I don't understand. <laughs> Mr. Chad. <laughs> yeah, it <just> sounds hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this week. Oh, go ahead, Fresman. One last, one I last say, thought. I was saying, occasionally the red demon will run up and put a <laughs> stick in your spokes. <laughs> put a what? A stick into your spokes on oh, the bike. Oh, I really I thought you said put a dick in your spokes. No. <laughs> is, is this monetized? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> We're not worried about Schrodinger's that. Right Schrodinger's Yeah, Schrodinger's podcast. Ah. <laughs> oh, that red demon. <laughs> Did this episode even happen? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness well uh, this has been a blast thank you again sir yes of course but until next time uh what was this will be a friday show right yeah probably that's right well yeah. uh, hope all of you enjoyed this <laughs> just <laughs> madness kickstart to your weekend a good kickstart to your weekend go check out fresman when you're done here and enjoy his demasked episodes, and just have a great, fantastic weekend. Don't, don't do too much. Yeah, and and enjoy yourselves. Unless you want to, then do too much. Yeah, if you get off on that, then do way too much. Yeah, like until your fingers bleed. <laughs> until next time, oh, I've been the Scottish hush puppy, and I got some food to go eat. And until then, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. Jordan, Bell, Spurred. Jordan, Bell. Create shit. Build anything. Make it real. I've been getting dirty money, Jordan Bell fur. Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds. Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words. 